Hello and welcome to another Q-tip. This Q-tip is going to show how to, you can build a minimal version of an image using the S2I process using what's called chain builds. So if you watched the previous, uh, the previous Q-tip, you know that we'd be built an S2I image and deploy that uh, as an application. And that's what we see here. Uh, I also pointed out that the image created is actually pretty big. And the reason for that is the image that's built also contains all the build artifact, artifacts like Maven, GraalVM, OpenGDK, etc. So our mission today is to create a minimal version of this that, is much, that doesn't contain all these build uh, containers. Again, I go back to the GitHub uh, page that we used before, which is under my personal repository, and it's called QApp. So in here, there's instructions how you can build a minimal runtime container. So the first thing you would do is we create a new project called Demo Minimal Native. I already done that step and I also created a new build. So if you compare this to the previous version where we just did a new app and it automatically created the build for us and the service and the route. In this, uh, I'm just creating a simple build because we're only going to use the build output from that particular build. So I create a new build and we call it QApp build here. And just like the previous one, I'm, I'm canceling the build and, and patching the build config to give it a bit more memory and a bit more CPU. After that, we're ready to start the build again. So these are all prepared. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new build again. And this build is in this time called QApp and it has the QApp build as a source image. And we're going to copy out the application that the, the runnable application that was the output of the previous build and we're going to paste that into a new container that is a minimal rel container containing only uh, only basically the ubi minimal and our application and we're going to do this and this is based on the same the same docker image so let's copy this command and go over to our terminal so we are in demo minimal native here. Let's run the new build. And so if I move to the correct project and we go to build, you can see that the build has already completed. This is the QApp build. If we click on this and we'll look at the configuration, we can see here the Docker file that we created. And, and also that it's it's based on the output of uh, output of the previous application here or previous build so we're now ready to deploy the application and deploying the application is as simple as doing oc new app and specify the build name which was qapp and then we also want to expose this so we can call it externally so we just oc expose service Q app. Now if we go back here, we have the same application deployed. It looks the same. It responds to hello requests, etc. But the difference is that the image size now is less than 40 megabytes. So to summarize, using a Shane build step, we can take the the, the running application out of a build container and putting into a minimal container producing a minimal runtime container consisting of only 40 megabytes of data. I hope you liked this Q-tip. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.